Yeah, it was a big start. Um, I think our guys were ready for the challenge, uh, and I think that, that that showed with the energy levels at the start of the game. Uh, and sometimes when you get up that big, that early, um, you know, you maybe let let the wind out of the sail, or maybe we. You know, a lot of emotion was spent there in that first 12 minutes to get that lead. Um, and I felt like we fatigued a little bit as the game wore on. And then in the third period there, I thought we were going all right. And then, uh, you know, those penalties, you know, let them let them have some life. And all of a sudden, they're, you know, they're back in the game. So, you know, we had to weather that storm with that push. Yeah. It was obviously a tough start, um, you know, disappointing because, uh, you know, obviously this is, a, this is a game that's circled on your schedule and we've had time to prepare. I thought we had a great week of preparation in practice. I know our guys are excited uh, for this weekend and unfortunately just the way we came out dictated the entire result of the game. So, like you said, uh, you know, getting down 4 nothing is tough. Um, I thought we leveled off a little bit for the latter part of the first period. I thought the second period was evenly played by both teams and and of course, we got to push in the third period to get those couple goals to make it uh, make it a one-goal game at that point. But again, you can't have a start like that, especially against a good team like uh, Belfast. What I'm not disappointed with with that game tonight. To be fair, um, we outshot them 18 to three in the first period, which I thought was our best period. Um, probably could have been up three nothing at that time, and we don't take our chances. Goalie made some huge saves, and they go into that dressing room knowing that it's still a zero zero hockey game. They build some confidence, and then we tra traded chances in the second. I thought the second was our worst period. Um, on character turnover, you know, we're we're tracking outside the dots and leave the slot wide open there with with three guys and you know, make a couple good shots and they're in a hockey game and build confidence. So um, just one of those nights where entertaining, entertaining for the fans for sure. Felt like we did more than enough to win that game. You know, probably let them hang around a lot longer than we probably should have. Um, but, you know, third period again, I, I thought we, we found our game again. I don't think we found Sean 15 to seven in the third and, and close out a hockey game. Yeah, close game. I thought we deserved a bit better at the end there. A um, few, few things that happened in that game that you, you scratch your head and you, you wonder what's going on. But um, other than that, I'm proud of the guys. It was a tight first period, and then he just opened up after that. Yeah, I thought the first period that that was, thought that was Sheffield that probably, in some ways, uh, you know, we weathered that storm. But after in the second and third, I, I thought it was even in some ways. I do think at times we. You know, we didn't manage the puck great, but we were also able to create some really good opportunities. But last seven, eight minutes, uh, we tried for that last push and we couldn't get, um, you know, some clear, clear opportunities there at the end, but it was a really tight game.
it's overall just a real frustrating night from our group. Um, I thought Coventry, you know, that's the hardest anybody's made it in this rink for us to create any offense. I thought Coventry did a great job protecting uh, Headley. Um, you know, they 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 did um they did a lot of hard, they did a lot of lot little things out there that made it really difficult for us. We just we just didn't seem to be very fluid on the puck. We you know it was bouncing off our stick. We you know we. We didn't get a lot of uh, speed coming through the neutral zone. We were forced to kind of get in behind them all night long, and it just their their D are you know I think their D are, are uh, some of the best in the league uh, as far as on the wall. They make it real real hard to get off the wall and create anything. So it was it was a long frustrating night. Um, you know I think uh, I think the work ethic was there. I think guys were you know I thought we had the puck a lot all night, but we just we just couldn't get inside on them. We just couldn't create anything and, and didn't get enough traffic or you know second looks on Headley. A tremendous effort from our guys. I mean, this this place is tough enough to come into uh, with a full team, but certainly being four imports down and um, you know finding a way. Um, you know, we said before the game. You know, like sometimes, you know, short term. You know, we get we get late notice today that we, we're going to miss three more guys, and um, you know, guys get extra minutes and they get. You know, it, it's really about getting into the rhythm of the game. And I, I felt the first five six minutes we k competed, we battled. It was a great game, great, great game played by both teams. Uh, the energy in this building, uh, you know, this, uh, I tell our guys, this is what we play for. Uh, it's exciting for everybody, exciting for the fans, and, and, and especially for our fans that traveled here. It's great to have them give us that extra push here for that win. I, I thought towards the uh, the end of the game, I think both sides seemed to be getting tired, um, but yet both put in the effort to to really try and get that extra point. Yeah, I also think you got to look at too is that both teams didn't want to give up that extra goal. I think uh, you know it's a fast-paced game where we'll all try. Both teams are trying to create some offense, and I think as the third period went along, uh, I'm not saying that we played safe both teams, but I can definitely tell uh, nobody wanted to make a mistake. And I think we all try to keep it simple. And uh, like I said, it was just a great game. Obviously, that's the season series done between the two sides. I think Cardiff have three games left against Sheffield. The Giants have five games left against Sheffield. It's going to be. What a heck of a ride into the end of the season. No, it sure is. I mean, this was a big weekend for both of us. And, um, you know, for us to get, uh, you know, two out of four, we're, we're happy about that. Um, you know, last night was a tough start, but uh, I thought as the game went on. And then tonight, uh, um, you know, it's going to be fun down the stretch here. Yeah, I think, yeah, a <laughs> win helps after losing so many in a row, but, you know, that's on them. Uh, that's the, the kind of effort that we need to bring on a consistent basis. You know, I think we we did a lot of uh, talking about what we need to do to be successful this week, and I think that, uh, you know, we came out strong. Uh, we, you know, did the things that we already spoke about, and, and we got rewarded with the first goal. Um, yeah, and I think that kind of the message in the in the first intermission was we need to just you know build on that and continue to do that. And I think that uh, as a group we did did well. Um, you know there were were a couple of mistakes, but again that's a hockey game, and um, I think that I think that you know guys stepping in into the lineup after being uh, off for for a bit. You know uh, Christian Blumenshine had a great game tonight. Um, you know I know he was solid back there, and then. You know, Barry had to step in, you know, in, in a defensive role tonight, and I thought he did a great job for, you know, being a being a forward back there. From our standpoint, um, not very good. Um, tonight we just didn't play a 60-minute game. Um, you know, we were slow to start the first period, um, but it, sometimes you've got to give us that or give a team that sits on the bus for that amount of time to get their legs underneath them. And, you know, like I said, we can't use that as an excuse. Um, every team travels, but we were slow to start the first period, um, you know, but then the second period we started. We get a power play goal that puts us at 1 1, and then I think it was about 40 something seconds later, they score to make it 2 1 again. Um, and, you know, that's been the story. 
of our last, I don't know, 10 games where we kind of, we seem to be scoring goals and then within that time spell we get scored against. Um, and again, we spoke about this place being a, it's a momentum rink as well. Obviously the fans are back in here. Um, you know, and I said that in the last interview, the last time we were up, that it helps them. And, um, you know, I thought Fife um, overall were probably the better team tonight and deserved the two points. But um, we just, like I said, we just didn't play consistently for 60 minutes um, tonight. Absolutely. Uh, very frustrating, very disappointing to uh, come out of there with two over overtime losses. And when you got when you go to overtime like that, it is a bit of a lottery, but when it's like almost self-inflicted like that, it makes it worse, doesn't it? Yeah, and unfortunately right now, we're, we're, this weekend, we struggle to score goals. And uh, when you do that, that puts a lot of pressure on your D and a team defense I'm referring to. And um, yeah, that's going to happen. we, we got to find a way to get to those hard areas a bit better, and we'll practice that next week. Obviously, uh, everybody knows uh, that we had an extremely tough January, um, and you know I think it helps that we're we're starting to add some bodies into the lineup to give guys some support. Obviously, we're still short on D. I thought they had a fantastic weekend as well as Shane was consistently good as usual. Um, we talked about a bunch of the little things that are going to help us be successful. I thought that over the course of the weekend we were. We displayed a lot of that. There was really two different wins over the course of the weekend. Last night, things kind of went our way. Tonight, we had to fight for it. Um, but we hung in there to the end. And, um, you, you know, I'm obviously thrilled to get the two points. Yeah, <clears throat> weird, obviously, with the delay and um, everything, but I really liked our uh, first 10 minutes and just think the, the momentum shift, um, you know, their goalie made some good saves. I, I felt they, um, you know, they wanted to maybe keep it tight at the start and, um, you know, we, we had some great opportunities and then they got the first one and it seemed to give the momentum to them and kind of activated them and... Uh, yeah, I didn't like uh, the second half of that first period, and the second was a bit better. Um, you know, we made through wine, and then you know we made a few uh, few mistakes there that could have um, been worse. But at the same time, we created some offense too, which was nice to see going the third. And I thought the third period uh, we really activated that five-minute span where um, you know we got that two quick goals, and um, yeah, just. At times tonight, we were on and off, on and off, on and off. And, you know, for them, I think they were, um, you know, stayed over, so well prepared. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, overall, um, I thought we played a much. Uh, a much solider game than what we did last night in Fife. Um, you know, we weren't very happy with our performance last night, um, system-wise, just all over the ice. And you know, we asked them to be better tonight, and we were. And I thought it was a solid team performance, um, structurally, system-wise, it was very good. Um, and you know, obviously, it comes back to three-three there, but just glad to get the extra, the extra point out of the game as well. Um, but on gameplay, I thought, um, you know, I thought we edged the play tonight and deserved the two points.